morning YouTube um, I want to do a short video about powdery mildew on apple trees um, because I'm a bit stuck at what to do I'm gonna just talk about what I have done show you what it looks like on the tree and um, if you've got any ideas or anything that's been successful please post in the comments and I'll give it a go and see what happens um, so I acquired this half of the allotment with a really lovely established apple tree on it um, last year so I'm in the first year with this side I'm in the second year with the side over there so I've got the whole allotment now which is great um, it's a beautiful apple tree and the apples are lovely lovely eating apples so um, in case you're not familiar apple tree mildew um, not mildew powdery mildew uh, I knew as soon as I saw it that's what it was I'm just trying to look for a leaf because it's powdery it's like a white powder on the leaves apparently it can affect the flowers and the fruit um, it's obviously not good for the health of the tree so here we go what I've done is I've picked off all the leaves as it's as they've opened with it on I'll show you can you see if it comes into focus you can see it's got this kind of white powder and the leaves curl up So um, there's this white powder on the leaves and they kind of curl up. I've not noticed any on the flowers so far, which is a relief because obviously they're the things that produce the fruit. Um, let's just go around this side of the tree and see if we can find some more. So here's quite a good example. It's quite a big bit with the powdery mildew on you can see the leaves are really curled up and there's a white powder on the leaves so um, what I've done is I've pulled off all the bits that I can find and then disposed of them fortunately here at the allotment we have a communal skip so I'm putting them in there um, another good thing to do with them would be to burn them you don't want it to make it spread I don't know about the spreading of viruses at the moment and um, mildew is no different fungus so as I said I have pulled off all the bits that I can find and then um, disposed of them appropriately so I put them in the communal skip but you could burn them as well it's just important to make sure that it doesn't spread I've then um, sprayed the tree with a garlic spray um, I made the garlic spray last year to help combat slugs and snails issues on my brassicas it didn't work with that basically because the pigeons and the birds got to the brassicas before the slugs and snails could so um, I couldn't couldn't see so that experiment failed and that I've still got no idea how successful it is um, but I'm going to try again this year and protect from the birds first <laughs> anyway I digress um, but I also because I had spare garlic spray over last year and I know it's a natural antifungal I sprayed it onto the onions and the leeks that had rust and found it worked really really well at holding the rust at bay so I thought well powdery mildew is a fungus so maybe the garlic will work on that so I've sprayed the tree with the garlic spray for the last two days and um, I'm not sure how much of an effect it's had I've just shown you those leaves with the powdery mildew on and um, there's still powdery mildew so um, I think it's the some of the leaves in places are going a little bit brown where the powdery mildew has been whether that would happen or not anyway I don't know and um, whether that's the garlic kind of doing its thing um, it's not everywhere there's quite a bit but also it's a big tree and there's quite you know um, on balance it mostly hasn't got powdery mildew um, so what I think I'm going to do is spray it again with garlic use up the last of the garlic spray today so that'll be the third day in a row things are good done in threes aren't they I'm going to do like a biodynamic nettle tea at some point as well next week and spray it just that's to help strengthen the tree um, and if anyone has got any other ideas on what I could try next I'd be really grateful to hear them um, I'm also going to do like a little Google 
search and see if I can find anything. Um, yeah, so I will be back. Keep me posted. Thank you. Have a good day. Happy gardening, everybody.